guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fasso Kajin Cosplay. And today we are back as guys with To Your Eternity, episode 13. Gugu is dead. But <laughs> like we knew at one point it was gonna happen. That's what the show is about. We were not ready for it though. Yeah, we're gonna lose everyone that we care about at some point. Yes, yeah? and it was really sad. And it's the timing too because he, he got to, you know, say his feelings to Rain and she said she told him his her feelings too and and he died protecting her as well, so there's that. But anyway, he is dead and Fushi got his, you know, his form as a plus, which is kind of good because he lost uh, the bear and March, right? Yeah. So uh, the monster, the, the knocker that they were fighting uh, fled with those two forms. So Fushi is leaving too, so perhaps he will encounter that knocker later and, and get back the forms he lost. But uh, in the meantime, he's got uh, Gugu's form, and we realized that it looks like the souls of, you know, the people he's met and stuff, they stick around, you know, and they, they have a, met, you know, they have a conscience and stuff, and they are around, and they're kind of uh, living Fushi's life with them. So I'm still not sure if this is good or bad for them. <laughs> well, because they can, it's they, a part they, of they them. They cannot move on, technically, right? Well, who's to say that it's their soul like there's a part of them that's still around we knew that there was a part of them in fushi mm -hmm. now but to see it you know to see that you know they are literally with them during his voyage and stuff and they can you know walk together and, and interact with one another that's pretty cool so you you want to take it as a bad thing i'll take it as a good thing <laughs> well it's good and bad because technically yes they're uh, traveling with Fushi in his voyage in, on his journey to learn how to become human and what is life but, yeah, but they die too quickly. Fushi cannot interact with them. No, but they can interact with Fushi, sort of. Yeah, when I'm pretty sure that Gugu was in there when when Fushi talked to Reen. There was a part of him that was in there also talking to Reen, so that was cool. Mm. Anyway, uh, Reen realized that Gugu was dead, so that was sad, but at least she she seems to be, you know, She's able now to say to her parents, like, I'm not going to get married because I love this guy and he's not around anymore, but I'm always going to love him. So that was sad. Oh. And now Fushi's on his way to meeting new people and, yeah. and you know, learning new stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's jump in this episode. Hopefully we don't cry this time. But yeah, last episode we were Rex. Uh, see what they have in store for us. Oh my gosh, give us three episodes and we're gonna cry. Because yeah. we're gonna lose someone else. We're gonna meet someone else and we're gonna lose them and yeah. That's the deal with the show. First. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when these episodes come out. Check out our Patreon for the full reactions and let's go. Let's watch it. Alright, fine. Bring me Maximus. We're gonna win this thing. So like, I get, I get it. It's a prison and prisoners are brought in and marked and stuff and they, they're kept here. Fine. You brought them both in without knowing who they were. Yeah. It was no accident. You and her friend. Yeah. Her and her friend. I'm gonna hit slavery, you know? I don't um, know. They probably get paid or something for this. I don't know who they are. They're acting way too casual right now for this to be fine. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> So, but yeah, it's just, oh, my mistake, like, I brought in someone who's not supposed to be a prisoner. Of course he's not supposed to be a prisoner. He, he was just looking for a way to, to travel. So I don't know who they are. I wonder if they were fighters in that arena before, if they were perhaps prisoners here. Like, they seem to know a lot about this place. Like, maybe so. they won their, uh, their, their freedom? Maybe. If they have the brand, we'll know. We'll see. In any case, uh, they are too chippy for me to, to <laughs> you know, trust them. And, and what they just did is, is fucked up. So well, we'll see what happens. She did say that she doesn't understand why people were smiling in that place. Uh, maybe not to become insane. So maybe that's why they're doing um, unconsciously, you think? What? Smiling? No, being, being uh, happy. You know? Oh, they just, they, they adopted this personality to survive in this place? Yeah. That doesn't make it okay. <laughs> They're still bringing in people in there. <laughs> if they came from this place, they probably know better than anyone else how fucked up it is. Yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing they got paid for, for bringing in people. I don't know. But uh, they're the ones that put them in this mess. So I'm not going to forgive them right now. I'll see what happens. They are in the opening, so I'm guessing we're going to get close to them at one point. But... Which means we're gonna lose them at one point too. 
Yeah, but we'll right? see. Right now, I don't really care. But this show is good at making me care. So we'll see how they redeem them. But for okay. now, I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> okay, Fushi and his grieving process. Uh, the creator is saying he's, a, he's starting to annoy him. Of course, he's growing a conscience. He's becoming human. He's, well, more human. He's uh, more, getting more intelligent. Like, he's thinking of strategies when it comes to how he's going to do things. Uh, he knows his emotions a lot better. He knows how to express himself a lot better. He's not completely there yet because like he were he was feeling those emotions from Gugu's death and he didn't really know how to express them. You know, trying to change his his face and stuff. You may understand what you're feeling, but not maybe how to deal with them. And I mean, even if you are born human and you've been dealing with this your entire life, you probably wouldn't know how to handle grief either. Nobody you know. does. Nobody so... does until you have to deal with it. It's hard and it's it's normal for him to be feeling like this. So he got through I know he was in a, a, at the anger level at one point. So there you go and uh, it, It's part of life and that's why he's here The thing is the more he's gonna become human the more he's gonna rebel against the idea that he's a thing Sent here to do someone else's bidding like he's gonna want to follow his own dreams He's gonna want to follow his own path and make his own decisions so if the creator keeps telling him you've been sent here only to collect, you know, that, collect the, data, data i'm like this is not enough but this goes like this goes directly against what he's supposed to do you want him to be able to recall everything in on this earth you know that you know the people that that have different personalities experiences and stuff you want him to feel this and and live this and and basically recreate this so of course he's gonna have the same needs have the same wants and stuff he's not just gonna follow along like a robot that's not what you want him to be so i'm fine with him rebelling that's part of the game <laughs> he's in a teen uh, teenager phase right now yeah but stay in that teenager phase because <laughs> i i don't i never knew i you know what to think about the creator now we found out that he's gonna leave at one point like he's saying everything has an end and it so does he apparently well so. one of the better way to learn new things and to understand more uh, to understand more the concepts is to ask questions uh, reflect on yourself reflect reflect on things so what is doing mm -hmm. you, you're right it is a good thing that you rebel and you keep asking questions about what is what is his purpose but what it's is he supposed to do what what he can do next it's because despite the fact that he gets an answer to why am i here he still doesn't have an actual answer maybe the creature doesn't know why he's there he created him he sent him there i, I think he's he, he said it himself he's just not ready to know so he's telling him, oh, you've been sent here to collect data. He kind of said something about, you know, eventually everything dies. So that's why you're here to remember yeah. stuff. So I'm like, is there going to be an apocalypse of some sort? Like, is the, the earth going to end? <laughs> something like that. Like, is that why you created Fushi? Because you want to, rem you know, have something that remembers life so you can recreate it better once this is done. I don't know. Um... The creator doesn't want to tell us, so we'll have to wait, I guess. And that's why it's kind of frustrating, because he's there to help, but then he doesn't really help that much. He's a narrator. I mean, I, on one side, he is also sort of a, a knocker alarm, but then he warns us only when it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, we'll see, but I love that Fushi is starting to stand his ground against the creator, because, you know, with intelligence and emotion, no awareness... This is gonna happen, you know. He's gonna, uh, ha he's gonna start having discussions that are way more intelligent with the creator. He's gonna start questioning stuff, so it's gonna make this relationship better than just like the creator and its creation. He's gonna become his own thing, so that's good. But he definitely needs to work on that courage. <laughs> I get it. He was, he's been afraid since the first knocker. He was afraid of the forest, but he had Gugu to kind of a. Uh, keep him going and now Gugu's not there but Fushi doesn't you know he's dealing with grief but he needs to realize that you know that's part of existence losing people and when you lose someone doesn't mean that they're gone forever or completely you know you keep a part of them inside of you and in this case it's literally you know keeping a part of them inside yeah, of you that's not a, me a metaphor no no for him it's not no. so he's got a you know make his peace with the idea it's gonna be hard and it's i'm not expecting it to happen right away but as an immortal being he really has to make his peace with the idea that 
it's fine to make friends, but understand that as part of life, they will die. You know, him asking Puran, please don't die. Like, promise me you'll never die. I'm like, dude, not only like, the, can't, she can't promise you that, but with her age, there's a good chance it's gonna happen soon too. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but then like, he's rebelling against that idea as well because he's that, you know, he wants to make friends, he wants to make connections, and then he doesn't want to lose them. And no one wants their loved ones to die, of course. So he's not mature enough yet to understand that everything has an end. And even us, like, when we get older and stuff, we always have that part of us that might rebel at the idea that, no, it's too soon, you know, we, we don't want people to go. It's part, it's what makes us human, you know? So he's never going to be fine I, with I this. I think but... that the way that you're saying it, like, maybe when we're younger, we not, we do not grasp the concept that, oh, someday our, our family will die, we will die. But mm -hmm. as times pass, for it's, some people, that comes in because more and more a reality and become, yeah, like we said, it's too soon, like, I'm not ready for that, but nobody is ready for that. Some people live it better. Like, I remember when our great-grandma died, our grandfather, her son, uh, was totally fine with it because, he had, you know, he understood that it was the time and if she was ready to go, she was ready to go and stuff like that. Like, I remember he said something about... You know, I'm not sad and, you know, why should I be sad? Like, she lived her life and she was happy and, and she had her experiences and now it's over. But she's on to having other experiences and, and stuff like that. He's very Christian. <laughs> so he was, you know, he lived her death, at least from what I remember, he lived her death peacefully, you know. But he was also pretty old when that happened, and she was very old when that happened. So maybe, you know, as you get more mature and stuff, and your understanding of life gets becomes greater, you make your peace with the idea of death. I'm not saying it happens to everyone, because I've also seen older people freak out at the idea that their time might be coming soon. Fushi, by all accounts, is four years old. <laughs> He's well, not there yet. Consciously, he's four years old. Well, Consciously, yes, he is four years old. De technically. Sort of. Four sort or five. So, sort of, yeah. Depends on how, how long it took him to leave the frozen wasteland <laughs> in the beginning, but he is a child, you know? He, he's He's got the emotional understanding of a, a child, yeah, teenager, because he's learned a lot with, with Gugu and stuff. Like, he's no longer a baby. Let's say teenager then. Yeah, teenager. It's still young. Very young. It's still young. And He's, you know, when he lost March and when he lost uh, uh, the kid from the first episode, he, was, he did not have that understanding. He was a baby. When you're a baby, you don't get it. But then when you're a child or a teenager and you lose your big brother, you, you definitely get it. But he, he cannot make his peace with it. He cannot understand it well. And he's going to rebel against the idea. I don't want anyone to die. But then his reaction and his solution to that is, you know kind of pushing everyone away like it's like he doesn't want to make connections because that's part of becoming stronger you can't become stronger for and fight the knockers if you don't meet people and accept that you know they have to die for you to be something else well in that case i will say that it is a little bit different because the knockers are not ordinary foes they yeah. are uh, special creatures with special powers and they can they're they're very strong what's the point <laughs> what I can understand why he's scared that to have people around him if the knockers gonna come. Yeah, and that's not what I'm him. saying. I'm saying he's rebelling against it. You know, he doesn't want to lose people, so he wants to push them away, so he doesn't lose them. But whether it's a knocker, whether it's a wolf, when you're traveling alone in the woods back in those days, whether it's a fucking landslide when you're hiking somewhere, mm -hmm. death is a reality for everyone. You know, yes, it's true the knockers are more powerful and they're weird and they're actively hunting him, but if Puran doesn't die fighting a knocker, she'll die of old age, or she will, she'll, she'll die of illness, or an accident. Everything could happen. Any day, you could die, like, tomorrow. It's, it's a reality, but he's yeah. not making his peace with that, because he's too young. That will come later. Maybe not in this season, because we only have, like, a few episodes left. But, and I, but I get it. it. It's beautiful to see him turn from, you know, the baby who doesn't understand, can't talk and stuff, doesn't understand emotions. Like, he had his default, you know, I'm in pain, I cry, stuff like that. Uh, or I'm happy, or I'm hungry, I eat. Like, the, the animal level, the baby level, and then the child level, the teenager level. 
and you know, after a while, maybe he's gonna get to adult and then you know, old per old person and stuff, or you know, wise sage old, and wise old, old fushi. <laughs> But it's it's the beauty of th those experiences yeah. with the good and the bad that makes this show beautiful. Mm. So yeah, Fushi needs to, uh, I mean, make his peace with the idea that Gugu is dead, but he's got a piece of him inside of him mm. that he can use and channel and when he needs courage. Speaking about Gugu, you said that now he doesn't have his courage brother with him. Nobody is born with the same level of confidence and courage, but you can learn to have it, you can learn to become confident. It's gonna take some time, but I do, I do believe that he's gonna find his own courage someday. I mean, a lot of people say it in a lot of work of fictions, but courage is when you are, you know, when you're in fear, when you're scared, but you choose to keep going. Mm. So that's courage. If Fushi wasn't scared right now, he would not be courageous, mm. you know? He, he's, right now, his, his reaction is, I'm afraid, so I must run. It's the instincts of, the animal slash baby slash child he used Fight to be, fleet, yeah. yeah. But learn from Gugu and what he taught him, uh, taught you and stuff. Learn from the piece of him that you have, you know, inside, and the emotions and and stuff that he gives you. Don't be afraid to take his form either, because I think he might not want to turn into Gugu in case he loses him again. Because it's true, like Pioran said, it's sort of like a second death. You know, when everyone on Earth forgets about you, this is basically when you're. You're good. You're, you're dead. You're you dead for good. Yeah. Watch Coco. That's a lot about that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, maybe that's why he, he never turned into Goo Goo. Like, he likes the, the form of the kid because that's his, you know, default setting, sort of. But turning into Goo Goo might be scary because he doesn't want to lose him. But maybe if he does it, he'll get to feel those emotions better and understand them better. And he'll find his own courage. Okay. He'll have to because now he's alone with weird... <laughs> People who, I mean, I don't know what their deal is, but they don't, he, they, he doesn't know them and he's got to save Puran. So that's going to take courage. Well, he might find his courage if he can save Puran. So I'm hopeful. I hope he does. I'm, I hope he does, yeah. I hope he does. So that's it for episode 13. Uh, thank, thank you guys for watching this episode with us. If you want to see, Jesus, my English today is weird. <laughs> if you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. All right, and if you don't, the next one will be out on YouTube next week, guys. So stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.